and Keith. The mother you're about to meet, Dreen Buckles, says that she spent the entire day looking for their medicine at different stores and getting medical catheters. I want to show you right now what the home looks like. The family told me that they actually watched as fire crews battled the blaze. Now they're just trying to figure out what's next. I see pieces of them right there. The walls are the only thing left standing at Dream Buckles home near Dayton. I think I'm still in shock. I think I'm still numb. The mother of nine children from ages six to 20 years old lost everything. This was our dream home. We had finally found a home that was going to work for not only just what we wanted, but also for our three non ambulatory children. Um, so it was, you know, it was big. It had the land. We have the animals trying to live the you know country life out here. These pictures show how intense the flames were yesterday that destroyed the two story home. The fire torched these tall trees and melted Dreen's family van and totaled another car. Fire crews came back to the home to put out hot spots. Denny Lunum with Liberty County Emergency District number three says the call came in as a kitchen fire. He lives down the road from the home and the fire station. By the time we pulled back in here, this house was totally involved. It was the hottest fire a long time that we've had out here. Thankfully, everyone made it out safely. There were a lot of tears, especially from our 20 year old. She was adopted from Ukraine several years ago. Dreen still trying to process what happened and hates her family has to start over. He says her children lost their musical instruments and books. My daughter's guitar was passed down to her from her deceased great grandfather. That's the kind of stuff that you can't replace, you know? And the community already stepping up in the big way. Their church family, as well as the school, has already called them, asking them what they need. Now, the Liberty County Fire Marshal tells me that right now the cause of the fire is still under investigation. If you would like to help the Buckle family, just visit this story on our website. It's clicktohouston.com. Reporting live near Dayton in Liberty County, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News.